You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Get ready to rev your engines and help our furry friends in need. The, the easiest way I know to raise money for the pet pantry is to have car shows. Um, we expect a really good turnout. My goal is 75 cars and trucks, and for a small show in eastern Kentucky, that is a great turnout. Um, we're going to have door prizes, silent auction, 50-50 raffle, food vendors, craft vendors. Uh, we're looking to have a really good event. This event promises to be more than just a gathering of car enthusiasts. It's a heartwarming initiative aimed at making a real difference in the lives of both pets and their owners. Um, so the pet pantry was established shortly after the flood last year, um, the July 27th flood. During that time, we handed out um, dog food and pet supplies um, to all the people who had been dislocated and separated from their pets. Um, as they got their pets back, we set them up with everything they needed to take them home. And we saw that there was a huge need in this area for people for pet supplies more than just that time. So we established the Appalachian Pet Pantry as a nonprofit um, in hopes that we can raise money to provide uh, pet food, pet supplies, veterinary care, things like that to low-income families in our area. To support this incredible cause and be a part of this outstanding event, admission into the car show is priced at $20. Every dollar collected will go directly toward helping families in need provide essential supplies and care for their furry companions. Um, when you pay your $20 registration fee, the first 30 entries, they get a uh, goodie bag and a plaque full of all kinds of cool car stuff. Alongside the display of cars, visitors will also find an array of vendors catering to various interests, from handcrafted custom tumblers and cups to trendy t-shirts, homemade beef jerky, and much more. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Ethan Miller.